Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I'm going to show you how to make an IOST wallet. There's actually a couple different ways that I'm gonna to touch on, but the first one I'm gonna show you is how to make a free wallet. So let's get started. Okay, so of course, before we get started, if you're new to the channel or you just haven't yet subscribed, then please do take, the mo take a moment and hit that little red subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. And of course, please leave the video a like. Okay, um, so let's go ahead now and talk about iostabc.com. So you can come over here and um, this is where you can come and you can do, um, you can vote for block producers, you can, you know, you can take a look at the block history and everything, kind of an overview of what's going on on the IOST blockchain. And right now, um, there is a part, looks like a partnership between Endless Game and IOST ABC, where you can create an IOST account for free. It says um, first come, first serve. So I don't know how many are going to be available uh, doing it this way, but this is really quite easy and this is actually not the way that I did it. Um, I'll show you how I did this also, but um, this was easy. This seems to be easier than the way that I did it, which was um, to do it through IOST Creator. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this way first. So I'm going to click Create Now. I'm going to auto-generate a public key. So on the IOST blockchain, the public key is not the same as your receive address. You are going to create an account name. It is um, 11 characters, and that is going to be used as your receive address. So come up with something that you don't mind people seeing publicly because that is um, how, you, how you're gonna show up in the blockchain and how people will send you, know, send you IOST if they are doing that. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and this is just going to be a test account. So I'm going to go ahead and create a test, test IOST account. And I'm not sure if this is going to be available. So let's see. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly 11 characters. It can be up to 11 characters for IOST. That is um, kind of not similar to EOS that also has your account be your receive address, but that has to be exactly 12 characters. So this one is up to 11. While that's creating, I'm gonna, I opened up a Word document just so that I could um, copy and paste the private key when it generates. Because I will need to import that into iWallet when I uh, open up iWallet. So uh, now I am going to uh, need to save this account information, which is gonna have the receive address of IOST test one. And I'm not gonna actually fund this account, which is great for uh, this demonstration, because um, doing it through IOST Creator, you actually have to fund it in order to create the account. So um, this was a good way to do this demonstration. So, okay, now I've got the name and the private key somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to create. There we go. So now... What, what I'm gonna need to do is um, come over and I just did a search for IOST iWallet. iWallet is the Chrome extension for IOST that allows you to interact with dApps by, you know, when you're using the Chrome browser. So here it is down here, IOST Google Chrome. That's gonna take me to the Chrome web store where I will add this extension. So there it is, and here it is up here now. So I'm gonna make up an, a password. Um, if you want to do this through IOST Creator, you can um, 
instead of importing your account, you can come down here and just click uh, create a third party platform. And this is going to take you to create an IOST account where you, know, you randomly generate uh, an account name and then um, it's going to, you can click to get a registration code and then you have to buy that registration code. So you need to send at least 150 IOST mainnet tokens from your wallet or any exchange to IOST creator and include this uh, transfer memo. Make sure whenever you're sending it, that it's 150 IOST after whatever exchange fees you may be deducted from. I think by, um, I sent mine from Binance whenever I did mine this way. And I think Binance charges like 0.1 IOST as a um, withdrawal fee. So you just go ahead and you create a transaction with that information. And once you do that, then it will automatically for you, um, it's going to put in a million I gas, and then the rest is going to be used for your account balance. When you do it um, just through iWallet itself, when you just import the wallet that I created with um, IOST ABC, it, it doesn't, you're going to have to send money over there and then reserve some for, um, for gas. So I, for I gas. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'll import account. Let's try a new password. And then I'm going to take my private key that I copied over to, you can copy it wherever you want to save it. And I'll copy that and paste it into that. And then I'm going to hit submit and it is going to import my account. Whatever password I just made up is going to be um, the password that you use to open up iWallet every time you open it. So um, here you can see it says I have 0.1 IOST. I didn't fund this with anything though. Um, and then, so you can see here, this is where you're gonna come to uh, manage your iGAS and manage your RAM resource. So once you deposit, so again, this is gonna deposit and that's, the, that's gonna be the receive address. So um, it's whatever you named the wallet. So you'll deposit your IOST there and then come and you can manage your iGAS resource here. So if you don't put in a receive address, it's just gonna default to um, whatever account you're using. And then, um, let's see. Oh. Well, I don't actually have anything in there. So, uh, but that is, that's how you do that. So you're just gonna pledge a, about an amount here to get some iGAS. And then um, once you have iGAS, you're also going to want to have iRAM. So I'm, I, I think that the iGAS uh, allows you to, you know, I'm actually not really sure exactly what they do, but I know you have to have both in order to um, really participate in a lot of the dApps on the network. So um, just going ahead and purchasing an amount of RAM, which I think allows you to make frequent transactions on the network um, that is, you know, like if you're doing a casino dap. <laughs> and um, this is, uh, so you can, you just purchase, it's, um, the price here is 8.8993 IOST per, uh, per KB. So um, there we go. So that's just what, what you're going to put in there. Again, if you don't specify a receive address, it's just going to be your default address, and that is it. You just um, once you fund it, you're just gonna you're just gonna um, delegate some of your funds for resources, and then you will be able to use the IOST blockchain. So it's pretty easy, and um, again, just make sure that you pick a name that you don't mind everybody seeing. So, okay, that is gonna do it for today. 
So if you did like the video, then please do leave it a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, you can please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comment section. I'm going to put links for iOS T ABC as well as um, the link to the iWallet Google Chrome link. And um, I think I'll probably put a link to, um, if I can get back to it, to this guy, to iOS T Endless Game Create. So, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you, again, thank you very much. Um, and thank you for your time tonight. I will see you next time.